Welcome back to Amnesia Castle Dark One, I think part 3. Uh, I'm not quite sure, I didn't check it. But okay, so we came out of the dungeons, I believe. Um, what the hell is going on? So you made it here, Keith. Keith. See, so just full of this Angus entering Castle Dark. And have you heard of the stories about this place? What are you talking about? I think poor Angus will fall for it. He met me only once during his prosthetic life, and he actually believed he was going to inherit my castle. Okay. And now? Now you're gonna face the same fate as Angus did. Why is there no floor? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I knew it. Oh, this was already cast a dark one. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything else. Hmm. Wow. Alright. Uh, okay. I do will continue eventually uh, uh, our rebuilds, but I have to completely reinstall it again, so... Hmm, uh, I guess I'll see you in a bit. Uh, and I'm back with another Amnesia Custom Story, uh, requested by Matei and uh, Porsche 911. It is Lifeless the Abandoned. <coughs> Wait, bye. Bad Cat 5550. It's the year 2003. You're a journalist. Your name is John Anderson and you live in the city and you are addicted to all kinds of castles. Your favorite hobby is always to go to different castles and take pictures of modern castles, medieval, old and big. One day you heard about the castle that had never been spoken of or heard of. Not even is How can you hear of a castle that never has been heard of? <laughs> okay, whatever. Not even its name. <coughs> the castle is located in the western side of the woods. You decide to go there until... Huh. Seems already have a safe hall there. It's possible, it's possible, because maybe I started like years back this castle story and then deleted it eventually. And if you don't delete your save files in the documents file, they can still pop up afterwards, you reinstall it again and put the custom uh, story there again. It's interesting, because the save files are in documents and the game is just in C uh, program files. So. <laughs> <coughs> Guess the time. Okay. Hi, my name is John Anderson, and I'm a journalist. I am going to tell you a story of mine, which happened three years ago. Three years ago, I was this guy that was addicted to all kinds of castles, modern, old, and big. One day, I was sitting, reading the newspaper. Something caught my eye when I read this particular note. I even <coughs> saw an image of an unknown castle, which was located in the side of the woods. I decided to make a plan to go there. Tomorrow, I went there, oh, the next day and tomorrow. I was walking <laughs> through a dampy forest. That's when I saw it! The castle! It was huge beyond belief! I was about to take a picture of it, until I saw this figure coming at me. It hit me, and I fainted dead! found myself okay, in this particular that. cell. Oh. I promised myself that I'm going to explore this strange castle and get out if it's the last thing I'm gonna do. And that's when <laughs> my journey <clears throat> I mean, you can faint and lose consciousness, but you don't faint dead. <laughs> I mean... 
If you would have fainted dead, how okay, can you be alive again here. then? I need to get out of here. Oh boy, oh boy. It's not good. And this dude is like, oh, I'm addicted to castles. Well, I don't see that such a bad thing. I mean, you're not ad addicted to crystal meth or anything like that. It's just castles. Uh, you want to visit castles. It's not a bad thing. Nothing. It's in the box. <coughs> Already then, hello there, sir. It seems that he's sleeping. But... Alright then. Alright, let's go. Chapter 1, the escape. Buckets, so maybe I need <coughs> to catch the water. What in pieces? LB boy. Ah, I'm sure I need this for so. <coughs> I am 100% sure. I wish I could run. This is not a r run yet, this is more like a hastened walking. If I now hold shift. Deeper and deeper I go into the depths of the castle and getting the feeling that I'm not going to perish. <coughs> but I don't know the future that I seek. Okay. Alright then, there's a leak in the ceiling that you need to fix. Probably. It seems to have rained quite a bit last days because the whole place is flooded. I mean, often it rains like 4 or 5 millimeters, but still then. It doesn't flood the whole place. If you had a leak in the roof like that, I believe. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. All right then. Yeah, yeah. I fell. Okay, whatever. Get up. Yeah. Thank you. I hear this background noise from. I believe. I did. I. It's. I don't think it's from Key to Freedom. But if you heard this noise in Key to Freedom, you knew this phantom was nearby. Let's hope he's also nearby. It would be fun. Uh, ah, I mean, maybe he was nearby. And he closed the door. Now I'm locked inside, and he 
he wants it. It is according to his plan. Last jar. What are you doing? Stuff there. Ah, let me guess. I need some acid for this padlock. Yep. <clears throat> Food storage. Weird and weirder things happen at once. I have to go further. I must not lose my patience. That's what my father used to tell me. Just one thing though. Um. Ah, well, this other door there, but I suppose I can go there on my way back. Not a big deal. Not a big deal, I suppose. Because I have to go to the padlock anyway, so... <laughs> I was just, for some reason I was expecting this one to be locked. But... Ooh! Liberals! Stay away from me! Going nuts again. It's just, the sight of a true liberal is truly scary. Ooh, makes me insane. Ben Shapiro, help me. Alright. Um. I have a key. Mine storage key. I hid the key. I would like to inform you that I concealed the key. I already have the key somewhere else. But well, whatever. Despite my enemies roaming around this storage, I had to conceal the key quick before they spot me. The key is hidden in the left cabinet in the room. Once you get the key, you may enjoy yourself the wine storage. That's where we keep our mixes of all types of liquids. Our best one yet is the acid mixture. That acid can burn through solid metal. Metal. Already done. God damn it. Wine. I need the wine. Further down we go. Come on. What's happening to my... Is this... Hey, this might be... Oh, yes. Wait. No. There. Yes. Incomplete. Oh. Alright, I need to do more stuff. I need to wine? No. Okay. Jesus Christ. He really went insane from that liberal. Come on, dude. It's just one pesky liberal. Nothing much. But anyway. It's incomplete, but uh, what am I supposed to do now? Maybe there's... I don't know, maybe there's something back. Uh, up. Stairs. You know, I missed there another door, so that might be it. But I'm not 100% sure. It's in the box. Hey, maybe this? No. God damn it. It's it's unbelievable the sanity drain that one event did to me. It's unbelievable. Go on. Get your stuff together. Ooh. More liberals! Oh no. Shit. Not more liberals. Reason, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I, I, I was sure, just 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 to, to be sure, you know. It's just my, my computer is just not reliable anymore. Oh, my 
sand is back for some reason. No, it's not back, but... I just felt it was better, but... Well, eventually he will go down there, I suppose. It's not like he's, he's capable of finding me here, but I shouldn't fall down there or else I will be stuck. Oh, yeah. That's one angry liberal. All liberals become like that after they have seen Ben Shapiro. <laughs> they are destroyed by facts and logic. And they can't handle it. Anyway, go away. Maybe I should show more gratitude towards tinderboxes, but I don't know. Unless I have a lantern, I never really need one. This place is already giving me goosebumps. It's too dark. Uh, in inexplicable noises can be heard inside my ear. Sometimes I visualize it all. Okay, there was some weird shit. But, oh, oh, oh. Uh, it's boiling water with green coloring. Sphuric acid mixture. Alright. Okay, complete action. Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, 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 Alright, so I should do this first. And then this. And then this. Et voila. No stopping me. Oh no. Big on that one. Flooded storage. I have an idea for an... Oh wait, no, never mind. Um, man. There's a lot of broken pipings here. You ought to fix it, you know. Oh, that lets you shoot in the boxes. <laughs> Firmly. Don't have anything much. Just then a glass jar and some oil. Be gone. Alright. I thought this was a flooded stars. It doesn't look really flooded to me. But whatever. Guess that goes through that door that was firmly locked. Oh. 
Ooh. More liberals. Go away, liberals. I have an idea for a Christian story. You play as Ben Shapiro. And you live in a world full with angry liberals. Like that, those ones there. And you have to survive with facts and logic. Try to reason with them, but they don't listen to facts and logic. Because they are liberals. All they do is break down your door and kill you on sight. Excuse me. I would prefer you to break down the door, yeah? Not just to stand there and do nothing. Because that means I can't go anywhere. Damn liberals. Not even useful for breaking down the door. He's standing right in front of this door. What are you doing, sir? You're programmed to break down this door. Yeah, even failing. F oh, no, no. You're even failing that. You're even failing to break down this door, which you are programmed to do. Look, programming uses only facts and logic. That's the proof you're a liberal. You can't do what's programmed. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, now he's angry, yeah. I insulted him. I insulted him. He's angry, but he runs away. Because he's scared of my facts and logic. Yes, sir. Come here, sir. What are you doing? This is... You're programmed to break down this door. Why are you failing even in the simplest tasks? Okay. Well, now he didn't fail. Fuck you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. Okay. I didn't have enough leverage to jump. Liberals has have won. I'm used to that, boy. No. Let me guess. This one is also locked. This one is stronger. Ooh. And cannot be broken down with acids. So you need a key or some sort. Oh man, I wish I could go outside. What are you talking about, boy? Build up some boxes and go outside. The creatures within, those creatures you see in the enormous castle were people before, you know. How they turned to creatures, you say? Well, some were doctors, some were teachers. You see the professor hired this professor. Uh, professor? The, oh no, the possessor. Professor. I had this professor, which was a crazy kind man, with a big curly white hair. He used to make us laugh in the office. He was such a crazy old man. One day, he told the professor, uh, possessor to bring one of his people. He got a very nice woman. The crazy experimental guy with no name took her into the lab, and he told us it's gonna be alright. When time passed, I just couldn't stop thinking of what was happening down in the lab. I could hear lots of record down there. <coughs> I jumped out of bed, sneaking down the stairs with my bare feet. I saw a light shining through the door of the lab and I opened the door. That's when I saw the creature. I ran upstairs to the possessor's master bedroom, knocked so fast on the door that my fist could barely hurt. There was no response. That's when I felt something touching on my shoulder. I turned back, finding a horrifying creature next to me. It has no eyes, no hair, some sort of spiky necklace around its neck. You know, speechless around that moment. I closed my eyes, falling to the ground. I opened my eyes again and found myself back in the bed. How dare you judge that creature? Maybe it was a very kind creature. Unknown key. Oh, nice. On budge. Alright. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Alright. How about this door? Watch. Okay, I guess I just go through that door instead. Hmm. Del. 
Oh. A rusty hammer. For, for what? For what do I need that rusty hammer? Work? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, it does work. Yeah. Oh, it goes further down there. I shall will this venture through later. Locked. Okay. Alright. Eh. Just fuck off. There we are. Great. Exit. Oh, how nice. That's less nice. Ah. This is the exit, yes. Mansion Hall. Screeches, what are they? What is going on? What do they want from me? <coughs> there are several questions we will find out in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.